Uh, I would like to present the management of the unified field of reality and to manage the unified field of nature. Any adaptive system, any complex system, requires managing its unified field if one wants to influence and produce results. This influence is an adaptive influence, means that, which means that one is influencing while one is being influenced by the environment. The unified field of something is defined by its concept. It is defined by, by the intelligence that underlies it and that has been apprehended. To apprehend this intelligence, it is necessary to define what we have named the ontogenetic map. The ontogenetic map is the structure of the concept that regulates an adaptive system, a living being, or any adaptive entity in the world. These ontogenetic maps require defining the complementation and supplementation of the elements that constitute it, of the objects that integrate it when it is complex, or of the concept of the object if it is a simple unified field. The size of the unified field needs to be apprehended. That means you cannot define the limit of the unified field. The limit of the unified field is given by reality. When you want to influence some environment, you need to influence the unified field of that reality and which is defined by the restricted, including the restricted and the wide context. The restricted context works as a catalyst or inhibitor of a given reality and the wide context works as a gravitational force. The size, the apprehension of the size of the unified field depends on the uh, strategic intelligence the individual has. The level of strategic intelligence defines the size of the unified field one individual is able to manage. And the depth of the unified field is defined by the type of thought, of logical thought an individual has. The dynamic of the unified field is defined by its capacity of evolving or involving. Every living being, every adaptive entity is evolving or involving. It is never stagnated. It is never in a passive equilibrium. The balance of any adaptive system is dynamic, which implies that on one hand it is expanding which is driven by the maximal strategy of that adaptive system, and on the other hand, it is trying to survive, which is driven by the minimum strategy. The apprehension of the unified field of one is doing is a condition to be able to assume the responsibility for producing results.